Hello friends, Radhika Ravikumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see an informatical scenario where we'll be uh, loading the first three records from the source to our target. So this is generally asked informatica interview question. So you guys can make a note of this and learn how to do it. It's very simple. So first of all, just keeping in mind that you know how to retrieve the source and target files. I'm just showing only the mapping that I've already created. So the first one is our source qualifier. You can see it's an employee structure. So I'm just taking only the employee number and name from our source qualifier to my expression transformation. So what exactly I'm doing in expression transformation is I'm creating, a, let's go to ports, I'm creating two uh, other columns like v count and o count. v count is nothing but it's, uh, it's an integer type and it's going to keep incrementing. Okay, and this same variable count I'm going to, and you, you can see here in the input, input and output v that's variable i've just checked the variable so that it keeps um, you know uh, incrementing by this value one that i've given so in the next column it's o count where it's an integer type and i'm calling v count through o count so whenever we call the o count it gives us the uh, one the next two like that it's just same like our sequence generator the sequence generator that is created through expression transformation that's the only difference so I've created these two columns and this is the already existing uh, column that is our employee number and e-name that we have retrieved from our employee source qualifier so this is what the changes that we make in our expression transformation okay so once when we give this v count and o count so what hap what exactly happens is uh, each um, row is assigned a value like one the first row is uh, assigned one the second row is assigned two then the third row is assigned three same way how much ever columns are there each uh, each will be each row will be numbered that's why we are creating these two uh, ports so once after that i am taking this filter transformation in filter transformation actually what is our requirement is our requirement is to fetch the first three records from our source table and load the same thing to our target right so we have already created the port that is uh, going to assign some numerical value to our rows that is as, as we saw it's o count so o count will assign one two three for our records then the same thing has been given back to our filter in filter i'm going to give I'm going to say, uh, sorry, what exactly happens is I'm going to give this three, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, provide these three columns to our filter transformation. You cannot see V count over here because it's just a variable port and that's why it's not our output port, it's just a variable port so it's invisible because the changes that's happening will happen within the transformation only and we cannot give pass on any value because already we are calling this o, v count through o count right so that's what is it and we have these three columns and we are giving all these three columns to our filter transformation in filter transformation you can see um, I'll be giving a condition in this properties when you go to properties you have something called this attribute called filter condition in this filter condition you just need to uh, mention o count should be less than equal to 3 that means the first the o count where the number is 1 2 and 3 that is the first second and third record will be f only filtered and only that will be given to our target so condition should be o underscore count should be less than equal to 3 and the same thing is given to our target that's employee id and e employee name so this is what is uh, is about the you know is about the loading of um, the first three records to our target from source so once you if you run this i already have my source qualifier sorry i already have my uh, workflow manager once uh, my workflow manager you should be creating your um, work workflow and in workflow you need to create a session okay so you can see i've already created uh, this so just you need to run the task so i'm just going to right click and say start task so when once when i say start task a file will be created on the path that i've mentioned so i guess you guys already know how to make the changes in the settings properties and all 
so I'll just tell you how that works too first we'll see here first if we if we go to our um, you know uh, Oracle SQL developer if you run this query you can see the first uh, three records are Smith Allen and Ward right so that's what needs to be uh, displayed in our file too so just say right click right click and say start task and you can watch the same thing in the workflow monitor you can see it succeeded so now once you go back to our you can see in the desktop a file has been generated and you can see Smith Allen and Ward is given to the target that's what we wanted right the first three records so you can see in the database Smith Allen and Ward is the first three records so this how you will be uh, making use of the Informatica to load the first three records from the source to target so hope you guys understood and the other thing I need to mention is um, if you go to this um, task then uh, you can make the changes like where exactly you want the you know um, the file to be present if you go to targets there is a attribute called uh, output fi uh, file directory and output file name here you can mention the path and the file name that you want to be displayed that the output how it should be so you can make the changes here and uh, save the same and run the task so you will be able to do it so hope you guys have um, got the concept and have understood if there are any queries then please do mail me and uh, keep supporting me for more uh, videos and uh, thank you very much for watching